Usually people don't show up knowing what neuromuscular dentistry is or what it can do for them. Most of the right. times when you go to see a dentist, it's just about this tooth is messed up, please fix this tooth. Neuromuscular dentistry isn't just about looking at one tooth and the way two teeth maybe fit together, but looking at the way all the teeth fit together affect the patient because orthopedically, if your bite's off, typically your head position is going to be off. And if your head position's off, then patients start to suffer from a myriad of different symptoms. Um, we used to always commonly call these kind of syndromes TMJ, and that's pretty much what everybody knows it by. But the reality is, is TMJ is just your joint. It's your temporomandibular joint. So we've created a bigger bucket to put a bunch of different symptoms in, and now we call it TMD, which is temporomandibular disorder. And within that bucket now goes joint problems, TMJ issues, also muscular problems. Chad had, what kind of symptoms did you have? Neck aches? What yeah, kind I, of problems? I had a, a lot of... Uh stiffness in my neck, uh -huh. and, and uh, you pointed out something to me that I didn't even realize about myself, and that, that I was would, was sitting and my neck was moved forward right. and my chin was up, right. and that's something that since uh, we've gone through the process that I feel I've eliminated, mm -hmm. and, and I feel kind of like I have the posture I had when I was a kid. Yeah, and he hits on a key point there. What he's talking about is head position, and typically when we start seeing front teeth worn down, um, we're wearing our teeth down, so we're having to close our jaw more and more and more all the time to bring our teeth together. There's a little hole in the back of our throat called an airway, which we breathe through. And if that airway gets pinched off and becomes smaller, just we tend to, because we're smart enough, to start moving our head forward to keep that airway open so that we can breathe the way that we need to. So a very common posture that we see in patients that have overclosed bites is forward shoulders, forward head, and usually tip to the side a little bit. And it does create issues with range of motion, ability to turn your head. Yeah. Um, and then patients tend to start suffering with muscular neck issues, which to them can be just a chronic ache in the neck. It can be headaches in the temporal area. It can be masseter soreness. Um, so those are the muscular myositis things that we pick up. It can even disseminate all the way down to the lower back because if the head's not sitting right on top of the spine, it gets out here, the head weighs 8 to 10 pounds. If it's sitting on top of the spine, then the body can deal with it, and positionally it's easy to hold it in place. But the further forward it goes, and off of that alignment, then the muscles all the way down the back, even down to your lower back, have to start straining to hold the head back. So as your head goes forward, you activate muscles in your back to support poor head posture, and then chronic use of those, and then never being able to rest, leads to the kind of pains that people can have. So those are the myositis kind of things. And then the third thing that goes into the TMD bucket is uh, neurologic problems. Meaning, if you have a forward head posture, spinal cord that goes down the center of our verte vertebral column, there are little branches that come out and they exit through the um, foramina in between the vertebrae. And if your head's pitched forward too much and the, and the neck curves too much, it begins to compress those nerves and you can start having paresthesia issues. Sometimes you get numbness in the arms, tingling in the fingers. And it can also disseminate all the way down to your SI joint. I've had patients that have had sciatica problem due to compression of the nerves. So TMD is the new term that we use. It includes joint problems, muscular myositis issues, and then also nerve problems that you can have. So all those things can be related, believe it or not, to a bad bite.